ladies and gentlemen this is it uh i think the the episode name journeys in it, it describes it the best as this is the end of a journey episode 64 of full metal alchemist brotherhood guys welcome back my name is jack the bus you can call me i shinobi today we have the end of full metal alchemist my god what a series you guys have seen it the past couple of episodes i couldn't stop crying so emotional so many just amazing character storylines wrapping up in such a satisfying way we're not even done we still have another another fat episode to get through i'm assuming on the future of everything uh ed and al alv of course has his body back i mean well i guess they both kind of had their bodies back but still it's just it man a journey it has been going back through this i i, I started this show when i was at like when i didn't live in this house i literally started this another house it took me a while to get through it but my goodness was it worth it i'm just glad i had you guys along for the ride because just talking with you guys after episodes reading your comments and stuff it has like meant the world it has made it just that much more enjoyable so i'm excited to get into it but uh before we get started thank you thank you for joining me and joining me on this journey and uh let's close it off on a good note so uh journey's end can you tell me which room colonel roy mustang is in tell him knox is here to see him roy a uh, freaking wait so he still has his vision gone i like how it says final episode he still well, lost nice his vision surprise. right and who is this you brought with you it's kind of my secret weapon does this whole thing got him down the farming method yep. that's used in the ishvalan region they mainly double crop. Nope, that's close, but it's called dual cropping. Now think, you've got to know this stuff inside out. Yeah, and I do know it. Is that so? Which two crops are the Ishvalans known for cultivating? Wheat and cotton. That's correct. He's hoping to make amends with Ishval. He wants hmm. to make things right before becoming the Fuhrer. Wow. wow. Ambitious. And what makes him so sure he'll become the Fuhrer? How long have you been in that here, Dr. Voice. Knox? Not long. You don't look so bad. I can't get any rest. Thanks to these pests. Those eyes of yours, Roy, how are they? I envisioned a better future, and this is the price I had to pay for it. And wow, he's okay accepted it. That? Yeah. I won't let it stop me from moving forward either. A Fuhrer's so attitude. A true Fuhrer. A fallen war of extermination. And that's where everything went wrong. You're right there. The turning point in history. Both for our country and for you and me. It's time to correct it. I'm calling off the military occupation. And then I'll return their holy land to the Ishvalans left living in the slums. Hmm. There's still a lot to be done. There's a lot of Ishvalans too. We'd all be dead now if it weren't for Scar and the Ishvalans. Yep. It's the very least we can do to repay them. Actually, kind of ironic. We know that this won't erase our sins. It's not too late to fix things. They can do what they the most they can. Of optimism. <laughs> it's the final hey, episode. It has to. Listen to this. We're already one step ahead of you in here. Doctor Marco. Doctor Marco's here. I still can't believe he's lived through all of this. An almost dead. I thought he was dead in like the fourth episode. <laughs> I brought a philosopher's stone with. I believe that it might be able to return your eyesight. What if he says no? I feel like I he will. So I created this stone by sacrificing the lives of many Ishvalans. Because it, it would be... be presumptuous of me to ask this, but if your intentions are to help their relatives. No. He's not going to use it. I have it. no right to speak for those whose lives I've taken. So I'm asking this as a personal request. Let me heal you with this stone so you can restore Ishval. I know some people who might not like this, especially Full Metal. But I will accept your offer. Okay, I'll good. I'll my life to seeing Ishval restored. I was like, but first I, first. I would understand the sentiment if he didn't, There's but else he should. that stone even more than I do. Oh. You can heal me after you heal him. Oh, Havoc, I think. My heart's to your home. Oh, that's his radio. Havoc General Store. Hey, Breda, what's up? Smoking a cigarette. Do what? Come to Central. You'll explain when I get there? <laughs> this better be worth it. Oh, it'll be worth it. You'll have your legs back, homie. How are you mm. healing, Scott? The Armstrong Estate. Why did you save me? It's got a the big bed. The interest I had in saving you was for your alkahestry. But plans do change. Of Colonel course. Colonel Mustangs requested Major Miles to assist him in dealing with Ishvalan affairs. So, I thought you might be able to assist me. Not as Scar, the killer, that is. But as a true Ishvalan. Will you help and me even Scar the lived. of Ishvalan? I thought Scar was going to die in this fight with Bradley. Allow our religion and culture to die out. Our he race. owes it, yeah. And this is our chance. We can rescue our people. This is all their chances to make the future is this different. this saved from death? given me this responsibility as my reason to continue living i accept god scar's character arc Enjoy man oh no i'll follow you wherever you see fit so good right, miles you can take it from here i can't stop Try smiling man sir oh mustang 
I wish I could see the look on your face when you find out Scar's still alive. Why don't you tell us your real name? What if he goes by Scar? I've died twice now. I'm neither of the people I once was. I don't need a name. Call me anything. <laughs> oh, very. Uh, I feel like that's a nod to Bradley, too. I don't know. I feel like no name could be, like, settled on. What if he just turned around and he was just like, Bill? I didn't realize my muscles had atrophied so much on the other side. You want me to carry you? No, oh, thanks. I can walk around on my own. Ow, bubble boy. I'll just move at my own pace. We better get moving then. Man, he looks yeah. older. I think it's the jawline because he's actually, uh, he's like, his body's kind of getting healthier again. How's the leg? Well, uh, I haven't maintained it in a while, you know? They're just regular kids now. Thank you, brother. Thanks for what? Oh, never mind. I wonder how Ling is doing. Do you think they made it back to Shing? Yeah. Two Wait, I want to see left. Ling. Two months? Back by now. Oh, wow. Two months. I, uh, hope May's okay. <laughs> You've got nothing to worry about. He's in trustworthy hands. Do we get to see them? We better. We better see Ling freaking become ruler of all. Oh, Alphonse. Hey, Princess Chang. Ling Yao. Hey, come on. Quit looking at me like you want to kill me, all right? <laughs> You're about as stupid as I am. Mixed up with this country's problems. You didn't even end up with a philosopher's stone. <laughs> know what this means. My clan won. He's going to give it to her, isn't he? As far as your clan goes, the Yao family will protect yours at all costs. Oh, just offering allegiance. I feel like he owes her that I much. I a homunculus as a friend now, didn't I? <laughs> if I did that. You can, can accept anyone. The and all of the other family. <laughs> the Changs. Almost as bad as the homunculus. <laughs> They're comparable. Oh, oh, careful with the deers there. You're gonna drown yourself. Trying to accept and protect everyone is just it's too greedy. It's too greedy. I guess he rubbed off on me after all. <laughs> oh my god, my heart is overflowing. All right then, time to go home. We need to get home so we can bury food. Aww. See you later. Yeah, count on it. Count on it. We sure have made a lot of friends. I know, especially you, Alphonse. You got pretty close with a certain princess. Yeah, you man. Be the future Princess Shing. <laughs> Forget about that. What about you? Winry. Yeah, they're going home. There she is. Wait, is this the first time Winry's gonna see Al? Are they just not going back? It's in two months. We're home, boy. He's like, Al? What's he barking at now? Go look. She's still missing the earrings. Make it very clear we know we see the holes in her ears. He's going to give them back. Din, stop the tickles. Didn't even need to say anything. Just that reaction in and of itself. God, come so far, man. Just so much has changed. I just, I'm literally thinking back to like moments in the series. It's so crazy it's over. Al? My heart. Dummies, welcome home. Good to be back. Oh, God. Oh, it's like, oh, God, this is so satisfying. Two years later. This should not be this hard. Oh, my cheeks hurt from smiling so much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bod, you're just a regular schmegular dude now. It was worth it. Brother, what's taking so long? Damn chores are testing the limits of my courtesy. <laughs> like I'm her personal slave. This pathetic human body. Everything I... Winry said she's making tea to go with the apple pie she's baking. Dude, Al gets to enjoy food again. Feels good. You can see the entire countryside today, huh? It's so vast. <sighs> so... I've been thinking about something lately. And I bet we're thinking the same thing. So tell me, how's work been lately? Exhausting. There's a new problem. Oh my god, Miss Bradley. Sending me to an early grave. Mustang's hard at work in the east. And General Armstrong's holding down the northern front with our iron fists. Of course she is. I might be able to remain the Fuhrer for some time with the two of them by my side. Wait, you the Fuhrer? Like turn the throne over to a younger man? Like Mustang? Not just yet. A mistress needs a man of experience. This guy's smile creased me out. It always did. That sounds a bit like something my late husband might have said. I never met a man more devoted to his work. Child. I doubt that I can compare to his devotion to our country. Oh my God! It's Lean, dear. What's wrong, sweetheart? It's actually him. This little bird is hurt. Can we help it? 
The poor little thing. We'll have Gramps call a veterinarian right away. Please do. They can fix it, can't they? It'll be fine, honey. Now go on and take him to Gramps. He'd grown up to be a kind boy. Hmm. Yes. Everyone was against me raising him, but he's such a wonderful boy. I knew that there was nothing to worry about. We're gonna keep an eye on him a little while longer. Huh. I think it's interesting. It's like Pride Reborn, but... If he happens to develop any odd behavior, Different way. You understand what must be done. I'll see to it that never has to happen. It's like a different path for him. Wholesome in a weird way because it reminds me of Salim before we knew who he was. Is it truly possible for us to live in peace with one another? God, I, I wasn't expecting that. How old you get, new possibilities are always exciting. <laughs> so is Edward bummed out that he's stuck with his metal leg? He's okay with it. He said that it serves as a nice reminder to keep him in line for the future. And besides, he thinks that Winry would get depressed if she had nothing to fix. My boy is so grown oh, up. No, Looking like a whole doing. man. Oh. It's nice to see you. I'm so happy you're normal again. And I know he's happy for you. Did it for him. We've been treated so well. So many people have cared for both of us. For all this compassion. From people like you and Mr. Hughes. We feel like it's our turn to repay the happiness that's been given to us. Isn't that like what the alchemists believe? Equivalent exchange? <laughs> Very no. good. It's equivalent if you take 10 and then you give 10 back. They want to give more if back. you take 10, you add something of yourself. You return 11. It's not much. But mm. it's an all new principle that we're trying to establish. <laughs> and now we just have to go out and prove that it actually works. So I take it you've got something in mind? We're still haunted by the memory of a little girl that we once knew. Wow. We were able to save her, and we will never forget that. Episode four. Is that what they were referencing? Mr. Gerso, Zompano. Hey, Al, there's plenty of food. Dig in. Dude, Excuse best, me. best Zompano redemption arc. Gerso and Zompano. Actually, best redemption arc. Truly. So then, you've paid all your regards? Yes. The time is nigh. You ready? What are they doing? I'm off to Shane. Hmm. Oh! Teach me everything there is to know about Alkahestry, but I'm not oh, stopping there. Shoot. I'm gonna travel all over the East and study everything I can about their culture. Wow! I wanna see all I can and learn all I can. Meet new people. With this human body. So you guys coming along? <laughs> oh yes, we're coming. Hey, he's got a squad. <laughs> the boar and the frog. The truth is, we're gonna find a way to get our original bodies back. Ah. The one who told us that we should never give up. You said to act for they and not leave it to others. Dude, I don't even want it to end. I want to see Al's so journey. I'm going to take the east, and brothers heading west to learn from that region. Huh. And if we then combine the knowledge from east and west, we might be able to prevent the tragedy that befell so Nina from happening. Do Winry and but that's not all. Ed end up together? We've got more in mind. It's not just for research. It's an enormous world, and we want to see it all. Make sure to oil it every day. Dude, they better kiss or something. Tightened. Yeah. I'm gonna be pissed. Dry it off immediately when you get out of the tub. Are you even listening? Yeah. <gasps> Classic Ed. He looks sad. Ah, there's your train. Like he you, wants to say something. Gonna break it within a month and have to come home for maintenance. Probably right. <laughs> well, whenever that does happen, just call me to make an appointment. Sure. Things feel left off. An appointment? What's wrong? Say it. Listen, Winry. Just come out and. She say feels it. the same way. <laughs> Equivalent exchange. I'll give half of my life to you if you give half of yours to me. That was so cheesy, but I love it. Come on. You have to treat everything like alchemy. The whole equivalent exchange thing is just nonsense. What'd you say? How about I just give you my whole life? Uh, uh maybe not all of it. Maybe 80%? 70. But 85. Yeah, 85 is a good number. <laughs> Shut up! You I'm have sorry. a crush on him. Edward? You are so incredible. You knocked equivalent exchange flat on its button just a few words. <laughs> What's that mean? Are you making fun of me? Not at all. He's so much taller. It's weird. Thanks for cheering me up. I'll miss you. Goodbye. He looks like Hohenheim from this angle. I don't know if it's because he's because he's leaving or the jacket or the hair. I don't know. At least she got it out there. I would have settled more for like um maybe a wedding episode, but this is okay too. Oh, 
So I see Edward's doing some traveling as well. Why can't those boys just settle down for a while? It's good for them to keep moving. She got the earrings back. Men who just sit around doing nothing are boring. <laughs> There's no such thing as a painless lesson. Sacrifices are necessary. You can't gain anything without losing something first. If you can endure that pain and walk away from it, you'll find that you now have a heart strong enough to overcome any obstacle. Yeah. A heart made full metal. <sighs> wow. Wow. Sheesh, dude. I don't think they could have done a more satisfying wrap-up episode. I really don't. They hit every base. From Mustang laying the ground. Laying, look! He's on the throne! From Mustang, you know, laying the groundwork to become Fuhrer, but putting the work ahead of him and not just, you know, straight up taking. I think that's him as Fuhrer. He's got a little mustache to, you know, I mean, just everything. I don't, what a series, man. So, so incredible. I was requested to watch this by a ton of people and it just didn't disappoint, not in the slightest. I think the only thing I disliked was like the pacing, but also because I didn't watch it fast enough, but it's just like one overarching storyline. So it's just, you grow to love these characters so much are those their children oh my oh wait wait there was the girl from what's it called maybe th that was the kid no that looks like ed oh my god he looks a lot like hohenheim i think he's wearing like his outfit basically absolutely incredible storytelling guys thank you for joining me on this journey this is the journey's end i appreciate you for being here whether this is the only thing you watch on the channel or not i do appreciate you guys so so much and like i said i do this because it literally makes it that much better to enjoy it alongside you guys for you guys to see my first experience with it to my first experience with these shows that you absolutely adore and hold very dear to your heart i try and take that and make something out of it that uh, we can both enjoy together and that new experience just every time i finish a show whether it's with you guys or just in general it's just something special so thank you for being here and uh as always i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day as per usual and i'll catch you in the next one Please, base